Alright guys, welcome to the tech source. Uh, I am Dan and we are unboxing today the Asus P6X58D motherboard dash E. <laughs> um, I just picked this up uh, and it's going to be for my new i7 build. So it looks like a pretty sweet uh, board. So hey guys, stick around and we'll be checking this out. Alright guys, so as I said, this is the uh, P6X58ED-E motherboard by Asus and um, you know the new Asus motherboard uh, well, the box layout it looks pretty nice it's all about extreme design and reliability and performance and safety I don't know what's so safe about motherboard they've never been dangerous so anyways we'll just go over what the box says so in the top corner here it says Windows 7 ready 6 core pretty sweet 1366 X58 supports Intel i7 and Intel i7 Extreme pretty awesome so you can crack this bad boy open. It talks about uh, a whole bunch of cool technologies like the EPU, Express Gate, Q Design, USB 2.0. Well, not USB 2.0. PCI 2.0. There we go. Uh, Turbo V, Memo K, which is pretty cool. Uh, 16 plus 2 power phase design and DTS audio, which I really don't care about because I have a better sound card than what comes on on board. And on the back, what do we got? We got some specs, we got a picture of the motherboard, and SATA 6 gig, true, oh, true SATA 6 gig was with RAID, and also we got serial ATA, well, not serial, oh my god, USB 3, <laughs> and we got three-way SLI and quad crossfire, or I think you can do, no, just three-way crossfire, but you can do up to quad GPU, which is pretty awesome. It's got the uh, CoolStack 3 Plus, so we'll zoom in on that, 100% solid state capacitors, unique layout. Precision Tweaker 2, and there's a whole bunch of specs, and you guys can read that if you want and pause the video. Now we're going to crack this bad boy open, because I have been sitting in the car, driving home from NCIX at Markham, itching to crack this thing open. And boxes are falling everywhere. Love it. So, the uh, just take off the sleeve, looks exactly the same, and bam, there we go, it's open. Cool, so first thing we see is the IO shield plate. Doesn't look as good as my rock board one, but it still has this squishy stuff on the back and it's not going to cut you, so the rock board one was nicer though. But that's the rock board. Uh, got some neat looking Shirley TA cables. Looks like they're locking. Awesome. Got some black ones. I really like black Shirley TA cables over the old red ones. And got some more. Sweet. I like to see that there's no IDE cables actually so far. I got the uh, the Q connects. I uh, love this. This was on my ROG board as well, and friggin' amazing. Well, it's so easy. Uh, I think that's an SLI bridge. Short one. Got the three-way SLI bridge. Pretty cool. Not going to use it, because I uh, use ATI cards. So, And I don't have enough money to fork out for three NVIDIA cards. Or that matter, two ATI cards. Get in the bag! Cool. We got a manual. Awesome. Black and white. Hey, driver's disc. Cool, don't use this. Go download the base drivers from Asus.com. Uh, whatever this is. Why is this? Oh, some updates. Cool. That's awesome. This must be an update, so it's all black and white. Cool. Now let's get to the board. I like this. So far, there's no form in this board. It's all cardboard. It's environmentally friendly. Yay! Okay, here we go. Here's the board. Take this bad boy out of the bag. Sweet. Alright, this is a pretty badass looking board, all blue and black looking. It's kind of like ice. That's what I think of it. Anyway, so uh, let's start here at the top corner. So we got your uh, 1366 socket, and it is, I'm pretty sure, a LOAT socket. Usually says on it somewhere. Whatever. There's your socket. You got all your capacitors, your phase, your beefy heat sinks, and the VRMs. There's one here, too. This one's not connected to the heat pipe. It's just a standard one. You got your 8-pin your power connector. It's got a little cover on it. Uh, you got your CPU power, yeah, CPU fan plug, and we got your triple channel DDR3 memory. Got two more fan plugs here. Memo K button, pretty cool. Uh, over overvolt CPU. Uh, what is that? Yeah, that's a jumper. And what else we got? Let's keep going down. Oh, here we go. SATA six six gigabits, regular SATA. Uh, your CPU cooler here, or well, not CPU cooler, uh, your north and south bridge coolers. This one's pretty beefy and it's connected with the heat pipe to the VRMs as well. So, and it's got a little protecting thing, that's all shiny. Yay. Shiny's cool. Oh, notice this, look. They even got a cooler on the bottom here. 
That's neat. Uh, I got more SATAs. Front panel, I'll shield, plug in. BIOS chip, battery, USB, USB, buzzer, not there. What's that one? Oh, firewire, power button. That's cool. My uh, X38 uh, rat uh, rock board had the reset button as well. That was pretty awesome. First, first board to have all of these cool features. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So let's go around to the uh, back of the shield plate. So we got 7.1 audio, gigabit Ethernet, two uh, USB 2.0, two four port, four uh, ports. Uh, we have the FireWire, optical and coax, USB USB three, and PS2 and uh, mouse and keyboard. I don't know why they keep these around. They should just get rid of them. Just do tons of USBs. That's one thing I like about gigabyte boards. Lots of USBs on the back. But anyways, guys, thanks for checking out the unboxing of the Asus P6X58D-E motherboard. Holy crap, I hate these names. <laughs> Alright, guys, remember to subscribe to the tech source. We'll see you later. And I'm doing a video, a time-lapse video, of building the whole computer. So it'll be pretty cool. Definitely got to check that out. Alright, see ya.